Welcome to Travel Discovery. I am Lisa and I will be your host. Today we're going to talk about the 10 best places to visit in the Philippines. Check the link in the description for a playlist of several of the videos I've made about the Philippines thus far. Let's count back from number 10, vegan. This region is a reminder of the grand life that many enjoyed in this colonial Spanish trading post. It's like a step back to colonial times. Horses pull carts along cobblestone streets and dark wood mansions flank the sides. Today, the main income for this port is tourism, though the splendor from its trading history remains. Vegan has two hearts, a shopping center in the north, and a business district in the south. Number 9. Bohol The island of Bohol is just a short trip from Cebu. The unique geologic oddity of the Chocolate Hills is a main attraction. It's called the Chocolate Hills because it turns brown in the summer. The mogul-like hills come with the legend of being formed by the rocks thrown by an angry giant. Most of the visitors to this region are, however, here to partake in the breathtaking dive opportunities that the region has to offer. It is the jumping off point for the marine reserves. Number 8. Manila This Asian megacity is the capital of the Philippines, the fly-in point for most tourists, and a bustling opportunity to appreciate bounds of culture new and old. Food, whether from a street cart or high cuisine restaurant, is excellent and diverse, representing much more than the blend of Spanish, indigenous, and Chinese heritage that has found their way to this nation island. There's never a bad time to go to Manila, as there are almost two dozen annual festivals to keep the city celebrating. Number seven, Don Sol. Located in the province of Sorsogon, a place of pristine beaches, stunning waterfalls, and unexplored caves, the sleepy fishing village of Don Sol is the place in the Philippines to see whale sharks. The protected species migrates through Don Sol between November and June, with the numbers peaking between February and May. This huge fish is not shy about approaching boats. Some carry scars from encounters with propellers. Number six, Tagaytay. The Ta'al volcano that sits majestically above the town of Tagaytay is a combination of active and extinct craters that create a beautiful tapestry of must -sees. Lake Ta'al is nestled inside the old Ta'al volcano crater, and the central island for the lake is the currently active volcano craters, which can be seen steaming on certain days. Those who have never seen the pristine waters of a crater lake in person will be astonished at their pristine beauty. Number five, Cebu. Cebu is an island province in the Philippines consisting of the main island itself and 167 surrounding islands. Its capital, Cebu City, is the oldest in the Philippines and home to the nation's second international airport. The city is a smaller but similar busy version of Manila, with many of the same urban benefits of new, old, cutting edge, and cultural. One advantage that Cebu has is Mactan Island, featuring a premier dive site that's a short drive from the airport. Number four, Mindoro. Mindoro is an island that consists of two different regions, Mindoro Oriental and Mindoro Occidental, which are separated from one another by a high mountain range. The north of the region is mostly remote and home to the primitive Mangyang tribe. The trip is definitely worth it for divers as you can visit the pristine Apo Reef. In Mindoro Oriental, the main tourism location is the town of Puerto Galera. This is the ideal beach town with resorts and white sand beaches for the water lovers. Number three, Banawi. The mud-walled rice terraces in Banawi are reason enough to take the bus trip from Manila to this unique indigenous town. The agricultural engineering system represented here was built 2,000 years ago and passed on from generation to generation. Though tourism has brought the Western world to an ancient way of life and created a large tourist market here, there are opportunities to visit less touristy towns. Number two, Barakay. Endless white sand beaches, colorful sailboat rides, and beautiful resorts grace this island that has been consistently in the top three beaches in the world by travel review sites. The most populous region of Barakay is the central part of White Beach, which has the most opportunities for food, adventure shopping, and public merriment. 
Moving further away, more remote options are available, but they come with reduced amenities. And number one, Palawan. One of the best places to visit in the Philippines, Palawan is an island province that stretches from Mindoro to Borneo between the South China and Sulu Seas. Puerto Princesa, which is close to large rock formations with an underground river, is the provincial capital. Here you can explore Japanese shipwrecks from World War II. Another popular destination is El Nido. See you next time on Travel Discovery. To see what we will discover next, please remember to like and subscribe. Happy travels, everyone.